This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. In this module, we are examining the question, how does writing as a form of language technology represent language? Here, we are exploring one of several writing systems, Ancient Egyptian. Let's examine how Ancient Egyptian writing encodes the Ancient Egyptian language. Our learning objective for this video is to identify what linguistic information is encoded in the Egyptian writing system. Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics represents a mixed writing system. What does that mean? It means that symbols could be used in one of at least three ways. One important aspect of the Egyptian writing system functions as an abjad. So, in the abjad, symbols represent consonants, more specifically, a consonantal root. We'll look more in detail in a few slides at what a consonantal root looks like. In other ways, ancient Egyptian functioned as a logography with logographs, where each symbol represented a morpheme in the Egyptian language. Other symbols were used as determinatives. So each determinative symbol was ideographic in nature, representing some semantic content. Ancient Egyptian is one of the earliest writing systems. We see here various types of writing systems and what aspects of Egyptian hieroglyphics we've just discussed. So ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs can be used as an abjad, a phonographic system that represents consonants. Other Egyptian symbols were used as log logographs. In a logographic system, each symbol represents a morpheme. And other hieroglyphs were semi semasiographic in nature, or ideographic symbols representing ideas. Now, this is a relatively small usage, but it was there. Let's look at each of these in turn. First, let's look at consonantal roots. So consonants are a type of sound. In English, we have consonants such as p, t, k, sh, f, s, g, k, and so on. Here, we observe Egyptian hieroglyphic symbols that represent a single consonant. So each symbol shown here represents the consonant shown in the square brackets. However, other Egyptian symbols in the Abjad represented two consonants. So these two consonants would have been part of the same word. So two consonants that may or may not have had a vowel intervening or before or after. Other symbols seen here represented a triple of three consonants. So what's going on here? Why would a language just represent the consonants? Well, ancient Egyptian is related to the Semitic languages of today, 
Arabic, and Hebrew, and is part of the larger Afro-Asiatic language family. In many languages in this language family, we have what's called root and stem, or templatic morphology. So we ha commonly have a word that may contain a triple of consonants. Let's pick one for, for an example, MSN. So we have here the symbol that represents the triple of consonants MSN. Depending on how this word was inflected, used in different ways, different vowels would have been inserted at various points in this triple, between two of the consonants, before the first consonant, after the last consonant, in some combination. And so when reading, the symbol would have made sense as representing a, a word that the vowels would have come from the context of the surrounding sentence. You can do this, something not terribly dissimilar from this, in English by taking an English sentence and pulling out the vowels. Chances are you'll still be able to read the sentence. So, Egyptian is a mixed system with an abjad, where symbols represent consonantal roots, logograph symbols that represent a morpheme, and determinative symbols that are more ideographic in nature.